Hello, my name is Brenda Abel. This video is about learning how to establish your credit. Because not having credit means you pay more for a loan and lots of doors stay closed for a long time. This video is to help you create a future that enables you to pay bills, enjoy your life, and hit your projected goals. This video is called Tips for Improving Your Credit Score. One, for everyone, this video will highlight additional information to your questions on what other information can be helpful and added to your need to know list on credit scores. Viewers, I hope you bought your notebook and pencil. Have you decided that you need to rebuild your current credit score? I must let you know rebuilding your credit score will not be accomplished in two days. However, you need to start today. Do you need to request a credit report from Equifax, Experian, or TransUnion, these three credit bureaus, or have you now received the three credit bureau reports and they are in front of you? When you have the reports in hand, scan for late payments, close accounts, and your current credit score. There is no timeline. However, starting will change the current results and allow you to do what you want. Once you have decided to increase your credit score and you find out what's hurting your credit will be that catalyst. The catalyst is the reason for your credit score as it will require each person to take certain steps to rebuild their credit standing. Now, let's say, for instance, your low credit score was caused by a few missed payments. The length of recovery will be the time it takes for you to get those credit accounts current and your ability to start making on-time payments. However, if you have many accounts that are open over 90 days, it will take longer to recover. The recovery period may be longer if the late payments resulted and repossession or foreclosure. If we look at repossession and foreclosure impact on credit records that will recover over time, most negative marks like these fall off your credit record after seven years and stop impacting your credit score. Chapter seven bankruptcies may end up staying on your record for at least 10 years. What you have in your favor is that the time that will re help rebuild your scores if you follow the steps to proactively add positive information to your credit report. You will also have the ability to utilize credit repair companies that offer to report or fix your current credit record for a price. There are also debt settlement companies that encourage you to do many things. Please take your time and research and make a decision on what best fits for you. You may have taken the steps and got a copy of your credit report from the three credit bureaus. And now the truth about the reason for your credit score report is in front of you. Depending on the credit experience, you might find out that you don't have a credit report established or that your report shows enough information that the credit score models have assigned a credit score. In order to have created a credit score, you must have at least one valid account that is six months old or older, resulting in a credit activity during the last six months. Depending on the software the credit bureau uses, your credit score may be calculated as soon as the account appears as part of your report. Depending on the criteria, the scoring model can score if no transactions requested crap have been filed and no payments have been made against your credit. Yes, you can say that you are currently non-existent to the credit reporting agency. If non-existent, then it will be difficult for you to open up a new credit account. Another situation could occur, and that is you have open credit accounts that only report to one bureau. If this is what happens to you, then the creditor can request a credit report and score from that credit bureau. When you never had credit, this will be one of the biggest challenges. It is hard to get credit 
when you don't have credit. There are options when you have trouble qualifying on your own. First, depending on if you can start with a secure credit card account. This type of account requires you to give the lender a security deposit in exchange for the credit card account. The amount the lender requires is the credit limit on your account. Please put down what you can afford. Secure accounts are easy to qualify for if you are using your own money. If you fail to pay the lender, will use your money to make the payment or outstanding debt. If this account is important to you and you manage the account by making on-time payments, this will assist in improving your credit score. Then eventually, the lender may convert your account to an unsecured credit card account. Just a few words to re-update you on opening a new account that will be reported to the three credit bureaus. This is a very important first step in rebuilding your credit file. Remember to lay down a good track record. An account that you pay monthly must be set up in your name as a borrower. So having at least a few open active credit accounts, which your name can be helpful in building your credit records and a credit score that will assist with large purchases you may need in the future. These types of open accounts may include loans or a secure card if you're trying to start over or have a low score. Or other types include credit rewards card with no annual fees attached if you are trying to approve your established credit score. If you request and got your current file from the three credit bureaus and you are starting from scratch with nothing posted, the most important thing is create a credit report or trying to get added to an authorized user on a relative's credit card can be a helpful only assuming they use the card and have a great credit score currently. Please contact the credit bureaus to see if they allow payments for utilities, cell phones, and Netflix to your credit report because you are limited to one or two accounts. The possibility of adding additional accounts that show your payment made and on time can help grow your credit card accounts up to five or more accounts. This will benefit you because your credit score will increase because of the numerous accounts you hold and are paid on a timely basis. There is a method to the credit scoring system by credit reporting agencies. A computer algorithm determines the credit bureau's credit scoring system called scoring models. These models analyze your credit report from Experian, TransUnion, and or Aquifax. The score models have many different factors, or the same factors weigh a little differently to determine your credit score. However, credit score at all three bureaus share few similarities. One, scores are calculated based on the submitted information to your file. Two, the brewers using the score models try to predict the likelihood of you being laid on a payment within the next 90 days or the next 24 months. If we look at the higher scores, the predictions indicate that a person is less likely to fall behind on a payment. The scoring system can range from 300 to 850. Credit scores 300 to 579 are considered poor. 580 to 669 are considered fair. 670 to 739 are considered good. 740 to 799 are considered very good. And 800 to 850 are considered excellent. Just a heads up, on-time payment works towards increasing your credit score while missing a payment hurts your credit score. Please let me know if you like this video by clicking a thumbs up or leaving comments below. Also, if you have time, check out some of your other videos that may answer a few of your other questions you may have. These videos are only for informational purposes. My name is Brenda Hayward, and thanks for your time.